the max pulling operation reduces the dimensions of the image. So we're starting out with this 28 by 28 image. And as a result of the max pooling operation using a stride of two and our two by two filter, we're ending up with this 14 by 14 image. So the max pooling operation reduced the dimensions of this image by a factor of two. So we can zoom out a bit so that we can display our options again. And just to show another example, we'll work with the fashion MNIST data set and we'll select, I don't know, a sandal. All right. And for our filter, let's work with a three by three filter and we'll continue working with our horizontal and vertical stride of two. And we will just play. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the final output of applying the max pooling operation with the three by three filter and a vertical and horizontal stride of two to this image of a sandal. So we still have this representation of a sandal here, but now with just using the max values of the three by three filter that we traverse our input with.